Okay, we're going to pick up where we left off and we're going to take a look at the code that the Ask CLI creates and how we can modify that code to make changes that we push out to Lambda and to the Alexa Developer Council. So Ask New, uh, when we ran that command, we got our Hello World skill. And the um, if you look in the skill project, this folder here, You've got uh, a few things here. You've got a folder called Lambda, and this is where all of the Lambda code is in this, actually this custom folder here. And so if we looked at the Lambda function in AWS, actually, let's do that. If we go over here and let's go to our functions here. And this is the new one that was deployed. If we look in here, you can see the files and the node modules and all of the things that are here get deployed out to here. And so that is what's in this custom, the Lambda custom folder here. And then the interaction model, which is in the developer console. Let's refresh this. So in here, So the interaction model here is this here. So we can change the, we can add intents and slots and all of the things that we've looked at uh, previously, change the invocation name. The default invocation name for this is greeter. Um, so we can uh, change all of that here. And then last is the skill manifest or the configuration information, which is this skill.json file. And this file contains settings for all of the additional information that you would have about a skill. So things like the public name and the description, keywords, all of that can be added to that skill.json file and you can use that to make all of your changes so you don't need to log into the developer council through the browser to make changes or uh, logging you don't need to log into aws to make changes to your lambda function so it makes your uh, again your your workflow just a, a whole lot better let's let's make a couple of changes just so we can um, take a look i'll just make a, a really simple change here so the default name is hello-world, which is the name that I gave it when we set it up. And I'm gonna just get rid of the hyphen. I'll just say, and capitalize these. So hello world like this, so small change. Of course, I could go through and uh, edit the description, testing instructions, example phrases, all of that. But just to illustrate the point, I'm not gonna do that. And then um, the interaction model, uh, change it to my greeter. And I'll save that. And the Lambda function will just make a change to this. Uh, it says, uh, when we opened it up, it was welcome to the Alexa skills kit. You can say hello. And I'm gonna just change this to welcome to the course. You can say hello. So I'll save that. And so we just made a few simple changes and now I'm gonna go down here and do ask deploy again. And it's gonna go through the same steps. It's gonna deploy the um, skill information first and then it's going to build the interaction model next. And this takes a little while building the interaction model just like when we do that through the developer council through the web browser, that takes, takes a minute and that's what's going on right now. And then once that's done, the last thing is it's going to deploy the Lambda code out to AWS. And um, once that's done, we can go test it. You can actually test right from the command line too. We're going to go into the uh, the, the web browser just so we can uh, see the see the changes. Uh, it's almost done here, I think. Okay, so now. Um, Let's take a look. So now if we go out here and refresh this, we can see the change that I made to the name. Just remove the hyphen, not a big change. And then also if I go over here to build and look at the invocation name, you can see that it's changed now from greeter to my greeter. 
And then um, the last piece, we'll see if this is finished deploying. It is. So we'll go over here and we'll test it and see if we get our new uh, greeting. So we'll just say uh, open my greeter. Welcome to the course. You can say hello. So there's our change. So you can see the workflow uh, for making changes and updates when you're working with the Ask CLI and doing everything locally is just really, really simple. And that's what we're going to be using going forward. I want to show you one, a uh, couple of uh, other things about the Ask CLI, uh, specifically um, how you can use templates. So the, uh, the default, when you do the ask new command, the default template is that hello world template and, or the greeter template, which is like a hello world template. But if you do ask new and then dash dash template, there are some other templates that are available from Amazon that you can use as a starting point too. So this buttons, color changer template, uh, city guide, decision tree, fact, which is the um, space facts template that we looked at previously, uh, a um, RSS feed, news feed template, and then high low game, how to pet match quiz. So there's a, there's a bunch of them here that you can use as, as starting points. And we're going to take a look at a couple of those in the next lesson. And we're going to look at modifying a couple of templates so that uh, they work as a, a really good starting point. Let's for right now just take a look at the fact one because we looked at that before. So we'll see what happens. Uh, oh, you know what I did? I didn't move out of my when I created this, I was still in the Hello World folder. Do that again. And we'll use fact. Okay. Let's delete this. And this is our space facts. So the code in, in this one is actually a little bit different than the default code that you get when you use the, um, the blueprint or uh, we didn't use the blueprint, but the, uh, the repository version, but uh, you can make the changes here again and deploy, deploy this if you want to, uh, if you want to do that. The, uh, the other thing that I want to show you is, um, you can also get templates from other locations. So the, if you do ask new dash dash template, uh, the default templates are going to come from Amazon, but you can also get templates from other locations. And one of those is uh, skilltemplates.com. So HTTPS skilltemplates.com slash templates dot json like that and these are templates that uh, that i created actually and so uh, it's a list of just basic starter templates that you can use to um, uh, to, to to get going so uh, like the basic starter one is really similar to the uh, default one that Amazon provides with the main difference being the uh, configuration information. So in the skill.json, it's got all of the configuration information so that when you uh, deploy this, it by just changing this JSON here, you're ready to submit the skill for certification. You would just want to use your own images, of course, and keywords and change all this where the, the default Hello World one uh, doesn't have all of the settings in here. And so you end up having to go dig through the documentation to get the settings. But those are all provided by this one. And there's some other templates. What we're going to do in the next lesson is we're going to look at uh, diving into one of the templates, modifying the template, and then uh, deploying the template. So that is coming up next.